What's going on YouTube? So today I just want to talk to you guys about something and what I want to talk about is possibly the number one reason why you should actually join the military. Right now, some of you may be thinking about the process of joining the military and you don't really know whether you should do it or not. There's some th certain things that are holding you back. You don't know if you're going to like it. You don't know if you're gonna hate it. You don't know if it's a good time for you to do it. You don't know if you're too old. I have people ask me questions all the time. They're in their early 30s because the, the oldest you can be to join the military, once you pass 35, age 35, you can't join the military anymore unless you already have prior service military experience. But I have a lot of people who are like 33, 32, 34, and they're like, you know, Matt, you know, I'm, I'm old. Should I really do this? Like, is it okay? Should I go to basic training? You know, stuff like that. And then I have people who are graduating high school who are like, well, you know, I, should I do college first? Should I do this, that, the other? Should I try and complete college and then go into the military? Um, or like, should you join the military at all? There's a lot of questions that I get all the time. The military is something, in my opinion, that is awesome. It, it provides so many benefits as far as your entire lifespan. Uh, that there's almost a, there's so many benefits that it's hard to even count. You know, people currently look at people in the military like with a lot of respect. Uh, it could be easier for you to get a job whenever you have military experience because uh, employers will look at you and be like, well, this guy must be squared away. Like they are more organized. They can work well with people. They work well under stress. They have some real life experiences under their belt. And there's just a lot of things. Now you can get uh, money for the GI Bill, you can get retirement pay. There's a lot of benefits to joining the military. There's a lot of benefits. And basically most of those benefits are over a long period of time. And the only negative would be if you actually join the military and it turns out you don't like it, which I've talked about it before. It, you kind of can't really tell whether or not you're gonna enjoy the military or not. You don't really know whether the military is something for you. Now there's certain, you know, I would, I would say key factors that you could tell whether or not it's definitely not for you, like certain li a lifestyle that you want to live, uh, then you could possibly like realize, hey, the military is not for me. But if you're on the fence and you don't know if you're gonna like it or not, and you kind of are thinking about joining, but again, you just don't know if you're gonna like it. That's kind of my case. Whenever I joined the military or the, the Army Reserves, doing basic training, the army in general, should I do active duty, should I do the army reserve, should I do the national guard, all these thoughts and questions were going through my head, just like they're probably going through y'all's heads right now. And I was thinking like, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna like this, like should I even do it? At the time, I was already, I had already completed two years of college, I had gone to a year of community college, then I transferred to UNC Charlotte, the university I'm at right now, and I did a year of UNC Charlotte, um, before I joined the military, right? And so I was just thinking like, should I, should I do this? And something that was in the back of my mind that I always thought about for a really long time because the military has been since I was a kid, like a really little kid watching documentaries and stuff about the army and it's always been the army. If you ask me like, did I ever consider another branch? No, it, it was always the army for me. But I always wanted to do it, but I feel like I never, you know, could get to that point, right? Uh, obviously I did because I did join, but there was like, I feel like a period of time, a period of time whenever I was with uh, my girlfriend recently, or ex-girlfriend recently, and you know, it was just kind of like a back thought. And it was something that I would say, like if I ever lived two lives and I would join the military, right? And again, obviously I did join the military, but that's kind of like something I would say. If I had another life, I would join the army, I would do that, but you know, with, with this current life that I'm living, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do it. But the real thing that I wanna say here is, for me, looking back on it, is that's kinda not the way that I should look back on things. You know, when you talk to older people, when you talk to people who've experienced life, when you talk to people who are 36 years old and they're like, crap, I really should've joined the military, I really wish I would've done that, uh, they might, they would, they regret not joining the military. They regret at least not giving it a shot to see if they like it. To do maybe just the National Guard or the Army Reserves or the Air National Guard or some of the reserve forces that we have. They regret that. And I want to speak to you guys who are maybe on the fence. And the, what I want to say is, if you're thinking about joining the military, if it's like a serious consideration for you, I say to do it. In my opinion, I really say to do it because you don't want to live your life 
thinking the entire time you're living life, right? You know, if I had a second life, I would I would join the military. Whenever you, you know, get older, you might think, man, I really regret not joining the military. I really regret some of those experiences that I could have had. I really regret certain things that I could have done in my life. I regret, you know, not being in the military, getting deployed, serve my country. If you're kind of that person that wants to be super patriotic and you want to join the military just to serve the country, um, you don't want to, in my opinion, get to that age 35, surpass that, and then really be like, crap, I should have done it. So if you're 33, if you're 34, and you're like, I really want to join the military, but I don't know if it's too late, or if you're younger and you're like, well, I kind of want to experience life, I want to do such and such and do all these things, and maybe I'll join the military. If you're thinking about it, and I give you kind of the, the green light to just do it. Just do it. It's really not going to be that long. You know, if you do a four-year contract, four years of your life is not really that much. You know, if I look back at the last four years of my life, I've came a long way, but I'm... 24 years old right now whenever I was 20 that was not that long ago if I was 24 right now and joined the military Getting at done with that four-year contract at 28. I'm still super super young But I have completed something that I really want to do in life and that is do the military join the military now personally myself um, I kind of had this thought process of wanting to be in the reserves and then doing at least 20 years in the Army Reserves, getting a couple of deployments and stuff under my belt as well. Probably, I'll probably get about four deployments in that 20, 20 plus years. But that is something that I wanted to do. And I didn't really know if that was something that I seriously wanted to do until I actually joined the military. Now I'm in the Army Reserves and I love it. I really love every aspect about it. I'm even commissioning as a second lieutenant in the Army Reserves this May 2018 so that's gonna add some more time to my contract and I'm just really pumped and I'm really excited and I'm super super happy I made the decision to join the military there's so many benefits so many benefits are gonna come from this and a lot of those benefits will come from only doing that four-year contract a big thing for retiring and doing 20 years and stuff like that and getting that uh, huge paycheck for your retirement that's like a really nice benefit but there's a lot of uh, camaraderie there's a lot of experience there's a lot of cool things that you just want to do in life that in my opinion you get from being in the military and just doing that first contract now it's not all sunshine and rainbows and the amazingness in the army in the military in general there's gonna be a lot of suck there's gonna be a lot of boring times there's gonna be a lot of times when you're doing things that are stupid there's gonna be a lot of times whenever you're taking orders from somebody and you just hate it it's kind of like having a bad boss at times but in my opinion that suck in my opinion is worth the rewards and that's something that I tell people a lot you know people will say like is the military worth it is it is it something that you should think about doing and it kind of is actually is completely a case-by-case -case basis you do not know if you're gonna like it and what I really think it boils down to is all, for all of the suck, all of the crappy stuff that the military offers that it puts you through, and then the, the times that you actually get to do cool stuff, the cool rewards and the cool opportunities that the military uh, gives you because you're in the military, it kind of just depends on how much you weigh those rewards and you weigh those hard times. And that literally just depends on you, your personality, what you want to do in life and stuff like that. When I was at basic training, I think it was about week two of basic training, I had a drill sergeant tell us, uh, as a platoon he was talking to us and everything it was during red phase and he was telling us about how basic training is only 70 days and he was like basic training is only a 70 day suck period a 70 day suck fest and when you complete that it is going to open up a lifetime of brotherhood a lifetime of opportunities a lifetime of respect camaraderie with other people in the military a lot of rewards that the military offers just by what he was talking about getting through basic training so you can either think about that being basic training or you can think about that being your first contract or whatever but the point that he was basically saying is the military can suck it can suck really bad at times but the rewards and the things that you will get will last a lifetime and that's something that's super super cool and that's something that i want to tell you guys if you're thinking about joining the military just 
just do it. I'm not trying to recruit you guys. I'm not trying to, you know, force you into doing it if you're not wanting to join the military. But if it's something in the back of your mind and you're thinking about doing it, you don't know if you should do it or not. You're thinking you're too old. You're thinking you're too young. You're thinking you want to do such and such things in life and you don't feel like you'll be able to experience certain things that you want to experience in life if you join the military, which number one, I think is kind of ridiculous. But if you're thinking about joining the military, I say to do it. You don't want to be older. You don't want to regret not joining the military. My grandfather is um, about 82 years old. He's been on a video on here whenever I, I live stream with him. So if you want to see that live stream, he kind of talked about, uh, he basically shed some wisdom with you guys, right? So if you haven't missed that live stream, I think the thumbnail, you can see him. So check that out. Maybe I'll link it if I can remember. But talking to him, I think he did 14 years in the Navy. And one of his biggest regrets in life was not finishing out those last six years. It literally is one of his biggest regrets in life. And it's one of those things that, you know, that retirement, the different pay benefits uh, that you get whenever you're in retirement, a lot of things that because he's older, because he didn't do something, and in his case was going from that last 14 years and extending it out to 20 years, he regrets not doing that. And I've talked to other people who are older and whether they're serious or not, they've basically, they're older, they're older than 35, and they're like, man, like, I really wish I would have joined the military. And they could have. They could have just done the Army Reserves. You could do the Army Reserves or the National Guard. You can be in the military. You can get deployed. You can go to training. You can go airborne. You can even go to ranger school if you want to, um, if you want to be an officer, kind of. That's a little bit easier. But regardless, you can do a lot of the stuff that you can do on active duty in the National Guard, in the Army Reserves, but then you can also have kind of that civilian life that you want. So, I mean, maybe if you're like super nervous and you're really not sure if you want to do it or not, maybe join the National Guard, maybe join the Army Reserves, and then if it turns out, hey, I really like this, you think you can then switch over to active duty and that can be your, your new plan. But I think I'm gonna cut the video off there. I've been talking for a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me talking to you guys about something that has been on my mind because I get literally, it, it's kind of growing and it's kind of blowing my mind of how many questions and stuff I'm getting and I love interacting with all of you guys, but it's blowing my mind how many people uh, ask me the question like whether or not they, they should join because they're too old. Like mostly it's people who are about 30 to 34. Um, I get a lot of those questions. But I wanted to make this video kind of dedicated to you guys and other people who might be on the fence. So I hope you did enjoy it. And if you made it this far in the video, you can hit that thumbs up button. That would be awesome. Uh, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to hit that subscribe button. That would be really cool. As always, you can leave your comments down below in the comment section, or you can hit me up with any specific questions on Instagram and Snapchat. I get in touch with you guys there on a daily basis. Really cool. So if you haven't followed me on there, you should probably follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Link is in the description. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.